brain boosting breakfast cookies. Oh my god, it smells so good. Lauren, look how they just came out of the oven. Oh my god. It's really like if a chocolate cookie and a fudgy cake had a baby and it was had a healthy baby, this is what it would be. So I'm going to do the same thing again. We're going to start with the dry ingredients and then we're going to like pivot right over to the wet ingredients and then we're going to mix the two together. I'm, I'm mingling the whole wheat flour together with the all purpose. But in this case, I have a full cup. I went heavier on the whole wheat and just three quarters of a cup of the white. Okay. So that's that. So now what we're going to add in is what I'm calling like the king of all dark chocolate. This is a half cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. So it's 100% dark chocolate, and it's loaded with a type of plant compound called flavanols, which again, we talked about this with the dark chocolate chips, but this is way more potent and concentrated because it's an unsweetened cocoa powder, and it helps our arteries maintain elasticity. So again, you know, smoother blood flow all the way up to the brain. Um, really, really good for you. I'm also putting in how much, let me see how much cinnamon, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. This is not only for a flavor enhancer, but also because we have some really great research with cinnamon and it shows that it could help tame inflammation. There's also some studies that show that it helps with sugar regulation to help to steady your, your blood sugars. And I have a half a teaspoon of kosher salt and one teaspoon of baking soda. So this is a, a big brain boosting ingredient. And I think it's going to make a lot of people happy. I'm working in coffee. So this is a ground coffee powder. I'm using an instant coffee, but you could, as long as you have control over grinding up your coffee beans, you just want it to be very fine because you don't want larger granules to end up in your cookies. The reason this is one and a half tablespoons and I'm adding it in because um, we have a lot of research showing that we're not quite sure if it's just the caffeine, but I'm betting that it's the caffeine together with the antioxidants that helps obviously to boost your focus and um, your memory, both short term and long term. And every time I read another positive study about coffee, I'm like, yes. Yes, because I love coffee so much. But I also want to let people know that if you become jittery and you're not a coffee drinker, you could just leave this completely out of the mix. It's totally fine. It's not going to affect the texture or the taste of the cookies at all. And it's also important for people to know if you're making this for kids, leave the, the coffee out. And now we're going to put, put the dry ingredients over to the side. So you can see like, you know, the cocoa powder made it nice and chocolate. Yeah, it's really pretty. It's like a yeah. Yeah, smells delicious as well. So for the wet ingredients, we're gonna start again with three large eggs that I beat. Again, we're getting the choline from the yolk. Choline's in that important neurotransmitter that helps with brain health, mood, and memory. And this is a mashed banana. I love using a banana for the potassium, which helps to manage our blood pressure. Healthy heart means a healthy brain. Okay, okay. Eggs and then ma one mashed banana. One mashed banana. And so if you have a very ripe banana, this, the, the, the riper the banana, the more speckled on the outside it is with brown spots, the sweeter it's going to be, but also it's easier to mash. So if you have a banana that's not too ripe, one of the easy things that you could do is peel it just like you're doing and then pop it in the microwave for about 30 seconds because it will soften it up and it's gonna make it easier to mash by hand with a fork. Next ingredient, in the spirit of breakfast cookies, I'm adding in a half a cup of a Greek yogurt. And for the Greek yogurt, I keep it plain. So any brand, it could be on sale, your favorite brand. But what I'm gonna tell people is that when you go to measure it, make sure that you spill out the liquid that's on top because I really want that thick yogurty part. And okay. the reason I'm using Greek yogurt is because Greek yogurt has more than twice the amount of protein compared to traditional yogurt. It's much more protein rich. And um, listen, if we're making breakfast cookies, we need some protein. If you're having cookies for breakfast, they might as well have protein in them. That's right. That's right. 
And then I'm adding in a half a cup of honey. And so the honey is going to be our sweetener. But what's nice is that, uh, you know, per cookie, it's still going to be, you know, pr pretty yeah. darn low sugar compared to. Right. And then after the honey, I'm going to put in two teaspoons of my vanilla extract. I told you I love vanilla extract. Um, and then last but not least, one tablespoon of any neutral oil. Um, you know what? I like avocado oil. But even if you want to throw an olive oil in, that's okay too. So mix this all up. And if you have some banana chunks in here, that's okay. Well, just imagine how good this tastes with like the yogurt and like the, all the stuff yep. that I like. But each, you get two grams of fiber per cookie and a serving is really like three cookies. So you're talking about, you know, a decent amount of fiber. Right. And fiber, fiber helps to slow down the absorption of carb. It levels out your blood sugar. It keeps you feeling full. And all of these things contribute to a healthy brain. What we can now do is mix the dry ingredients. I'm going to go ahead and do that into the wet ingredients. Okay. Oh my God. It smells so good. It does smell really good. This comes together almost like a fudgy brownie bag. Brownie. Yeah. It's going to be very, very thick, and it's going to be almost like fluffy and spongy. And so after this is all nicely combined, you want to make sure we don't have any dry streaks because that's, that's the dry ingredients, the flour. And, you know, you're getting a little bit of an arm workout, which is always yes. nice. And then we're going to fold in our wild blueberries and some chocolate chips. Okay, so then how many blueberry? How much blueberry do I add in this room? About a cup and a quarter, because I okay. want to get a blueberry burst with every single bite. Every little bite. Yeah. So I'm putting in all my blueberries. And what I do with the chocolate chips, I put half in and then I save half to decorate on the top because visually I want to see those chocolate chips when okay. I pick the cookie. So here we go. We're mixing in our blueberries. And then I'm going to sprinkle in some of my dark chocolate chips. Here's my chocolate chips. About how many chocolate chips do I put in there? So I have a total about three quarters of a cup. And so I'm, you know, I'm just, I'm kind of winging it. Again, yeah. you know, you, you don't really have to be exact with this, but I do have to save on the top so that, um, you know, we have that perfect decoration. You know who's going to love this is my father-in-law who loves a cookie. He's going to be very happy about this. All right. Okay. Now, the batter is a little sticky and a little fussy. So I just want to prepare you for messy fingers. I'm going to uh, mist my, my pan with some oil spray. And you're just going to take spoonfuls of the batter and... No, dollop it on top. This makes about 30 cookies. And don't put them too close together because they're going to spread and you, you want to keep them as standalones. Okay. You're really good at this. <laughs> <laughs> my kids joke. They say I'm like the mad scientist in the kitchen. Oh you know, my my how lucky are they to have a mad scientist in the kitchen? <laughs> well, I'll be honest. I'm such a person who eats batter. I really taking what? everything I have to not just like Put a spoonful of this in my mouth right now. Right, but you can't because of the egg. I know. <laughs> That's why I'm not doing it because of the egg and the camera. <laughs> no, I think the next time we do this, you have to be with me in my kitchen. Okay, deal. So what I'm what I'm doing now to sort of um, prevent the the dough from sticking to my fingers, I just take some water like this. I put two of my fingers in the water, and you just gently press down to flatten them out okay. and you're going to have to like sort of keep putting your, your fingers in the water, but just, just get them damp. You don't want a, a puddle of pooling water in your cookies. And then I'm going to sprinkle some chocolate chips over the top and we're going to get this party started. Now the, the oven for this one is only 350. So you want to set your oven at 350 degrees. Oh. And we put the cookies in for 12 minutes. So I made these earlier. Lauren, look, they just came out of the oven. Oh, my. 
it's sort of, I want to see if you can see this consistency. It's really like if a chocolate cookie and a fudgy cake had a baby. Yeah. And, and it was had a healthy baby. This is what it would be. Yeah. Oh my God, I love that. 